in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Just go ahead and pray in the spirit. Go ahead and bless him in the spirit, inside and outside. Let's lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, our Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jehovah, we praise you. Lift your hands and worship him. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise Jehovah, sing Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise you, sing Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise you, we praise your name, we praise you, we praise your name, we praise your name, Jehovah, we praise you. Sheba baba bala na bosse na 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 kuya na na. Jehovah, we praise you. Say your name. We praise your name. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. Bless his name. Come on, pray in the spirit. Inside and outside. Le baba ra sa baba karianda balara bai rata baba kora si bandi kalianda prosta bai rata baba 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 rapa da baza palianda raba kade balara bosh rapos ke barianta bas kalinda boza pariata ya rata pos ka bade ke de balara ba ko prende ke de de osh pray in the spirit now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. We glorify your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Pray a prayer and say, Lord, change me tonight. Change me tonight. Grant me revelation. Grant me access. Empowerment by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let my ears be open to hear the sounds of the spirit. Let my eyes be open.
to understand the visions of the spirit open your eyes open your ears and soon you understand that the lord is here open your eyes open your ears soon you understand that the lord is here Sing, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Lord, we open our eyes tonight. Open your ears. Then you'll understand, you understand that the Lord is here. The Lord is here. Open, your eyes. open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Soon you'll understand that the Lord Hallelujah. That the Lord is here. That the Lord is here. That his presence is here. Lord is here. Said man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds. Every word that proceeds, the proceeding word man shall not live by bread alone but when the rhema of god comes it comes with an ability it empowers you equips you energizes your spirit and then when you begin to understand his ways the bible says he showed the nation of israel his acts but to moses he taught him how to do business in deep waters and this is what god is showing us the ways in the spirit the patterns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, I need you to know that what God is doing in our lives in this place will last and we will salvage this generation. God is showing us His ways. Showing us His ways. Let me show you something. In in ancient times for many of you who have watched films and movies that have to do with war against kingdoms every kingdom is built and there are certain doorways that even the citizens of the kingdom are not told when certain conditions of war comes only the kings and the members of the cabinet know those ways there are regular ways the big gates for passage do you understand but there are certain ways there are pathways that are not shown to ordinary people lest they reveal it to their enemies because the regular citizens were careless people and whether in the bid to do their agriculture they could reveal only the king and a few select people who have demonstrated their citizenship they are shown that when you go beyond at the back of this kingdom built in the fence there is something that looks like a wall it's not just a wall when you look at it when you come close you begin to find out that i have always been looking at it like a wall but there is an exit so when the time gets bad the king can say you know where it is lead the people through the other way this is what god is showing us on common pathways in the spirit so that you will walk and navigate through a spiritual principle that men cannot understand when there is famine and satan brings all kinds of depression you will say there is a way he showed me in the secret and job understanding he said there is a path where even the eyes of the vulture has not seen he said there is a road where the feet of the lion the king of the animals but he has not seen it these are virgin paths in the spirit that only the king knows and for as many who demonstrate interest in his agenda he will lead them ancient paths This is what made kings kings the ability to hold secrets they were not weak people they were not like today's politicians you didn't vote them they got their position by conquest they revealed the dimension of insight and competence that gave the people trust to make them leaders this is what god is doing and showing us pathways in the spirit for underneath the sea there is a kind of business that is only done in the deep. 
shallow men stand and then they cannot see but they who have been refined by the spirit do business in deep waters help us oh god tonight help us lord help us while i was praying this morning i saw a big shofar a very big shofar a shofar is a jewish trumpet and every time i see shofars in the spirit i know that god is announcing it was a jewish custom that every time there was war or liberty or jubilee or anything there were certain men who were called watchers and they would stand upon the watchtower of the city their job was to monitor the activities of the neighboring environment and they would feed the, the king and his cabinet back with all the reports and all of that about the security of the people and if for any reason they detect chaos they had on that watchtower a fireplace and the moment they ignite it it will alert the people that there is either danger or victory and they will blow the shofar now the shofar had different sounds according to seasons the citizens had been trained to understand the sound when they hear the sound and the number of times the shofar is blown then they understand that this is the purpose and when god showed me that i knew that god is about to do something but only they whose ears are opened by the spirit he says that let he that has an ear hear what the spirit says to the churches tonight there will be great activations and impartations in the spirit as i teach the topic i'm about to teach is very key and very cardinal please take it seriously i will show you a mystery in the spirit tonight that will grant you access to uncommon levels of insight and power and favor in the spirit hallelujah when the lord showed me this i was very amazed it's amazing when god leads you through pathways in the spirit and then he shows and when the word of god comes alive in your life then you are as amazed at the people who are looking at you hallelujah how many of you are ready to see something tonight one minute just pray a prayer and say lord cause my eyes to see oh for when he break the bread the bible says their eyes were open lord i pray that you activate us in the spirit tonight. Let us understand the patterns of the spirit. Pray and say, Lord, let the veil be taken from my eyes. Go ahead and pray. Zila paria tam dizala kabaria. We are taking a prayer series. Mandi kabaria sabaroza tabali andarada. Now arise, O oh Lord, come to your resting place, you and the ark of your mind and then we will rejoice as we crown in your righteousness we celebrate your love and we hail you most high we hail
I hail you, I worship you, I hail you, most high, most high, yeah. most high. For it has been given unto us to know the mystery. Jesus Christ is the Hallelion of Israel. Jesus Christ, you're the Hallelion of Israel. Jesus Christ. Is the Hallelion of Israel? Jesus Christ, you're the Hallelion of Israel. Jesus Christ, you're the Hallelion of Israel. You're the Hallelion of my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 1. Ma parazo sabande kariadala. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears belong to the Lord. Grant us an encounter with the spirit of revelation tonight. Sheba kabazana mande kaya. There is an open heaven over us. Tonight is an unusual meeting. We've been building our spirits in the place of prayer. Can we just hold our hands and pray for five minutes? Just hold your hands all over the building. Inside and outside. Just for five minutes. We are drilling ourselves for victory and glory. In the spirit, in the spirit, Rataba Kobra Sadara Rabakaya, Rante Kabaria Tabala Rabot, Raposa Parin de Kosaya, Le Kabababa, Rante Kososa Prosta Baria Rabosa, Rataka Zintalabosa, Ratosco Baria Rabosa, Inside and outside. Ratosko prande gere bere re rabosha, rabo kabari kete balaraba, rando zat kabari kete, rekom seko shataliba, amprate kada balaraba sha, rata kababa baba baba, rabate kopa sikete le kosa tai, rando ski bari katai, raka baba 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 baba. It's just for five minutes. Keep praying, keep praying, inside and outside. Let your incense rise. Rata shapare kete boza parianda. Rakata ba 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 ba. Rato sose kete ba kariye keta. Mam proske parinde kasi kaya. Entre kete ba la 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 boza. Raparo sopande proska ba. Raboza parinde kosa taya. The remnant of the house of Jacob shall bear root downwards. And bear fruit upwards. They shall bear root downwards. Rabba baka taba rada bala kosata. Rendos gele koshaba. Rabba kabron dos bari kete. Rabba rikete bari anta barada bosa. Rabba ske bron dos shabari keta. Rata barada rada bosa. Reke poso se perekete le kosia. Ranta kosa sekete le kosa. Rapa parakataya. Come on, pray. You will encounter the spirit of power. Power in the heavens. Power in the earth. Baseka parika tabala. Rata base to se telebosha. Rapo sa parike tererererere. Rasto poroso sekete ya. He make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames of fire. 
You're my glory, the lifter up of my hand. You're my glory, the lifter up of my hand. You're my glory, you're the lifter up of my hand. You're my glory, the lifter up of my hand. You're my glory, the lifter up of my hand. Hallelujah. As we teach tonight, many of you will have visionary encounters where you will see Jesus walking in this place some of you will see angels some of you will encounter the spirit of power many of you will receive impartations and activations in the spirit Ezekiel chapter 1 Now it came to pass in the 13th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, I was among the captives by the river Sheba, that the heavens were opened and I saw the visions of God. Stop. He said it came to pass at a certain time. There were captives who were sitting by the river and Isaiah said something happened. I was sitting in captivity just like them. My God, there is such a strong presence. See, a strong manifestation of the angelic. Strong manifestation of the angelic. Mighty manifestations of angels activating, touching and quickening gifts and aligning us in the spirit. He said i sat among the captives like one of the weak and helpless people and suddenly he said over me the heavens were opened and when they were opened unto me he said i saw the visions of god i saw the visions of god. Yeah. i saw the visions of god when the heavens oh my god i see the manifestation of angels a manifestation of the angelic strong operation even outside i see a strong operation of the angelic for he will cause us to be strong i see things moving in the spirit like electricity you know how current passes that's what i'm seeing in the spirit glory is in this place when you know the secrets of God you will know how to align to his ways ha. let's try to share something before the glory overwhelms us let's just be able to share something mm. verse 3 and the word of the Lord came what he didn't say the word of the Lord came he said the word of the Lord came expressly under an open heavens unto Ezekiel the priest the son of Buzai in the land of the Chaldeans and by the river hmm. dear Lord such strong presence of his spirit God is so eager to set us on fire and to build us for you will never be the same not in his presence Sheba and the hand of the Lord was there upon him and I looked and behold a whirlwind came out of the north a great cloud and fire enfolding itself and a brightness was about it and out of the midst of it was like the color of amber out of the midst of the fire 
and out of the midst of it came the likeness of four living creatures and this was their appearance they had the appearance the likeness of a man and then he begins to describe the things that he saw the bible says that they were sitting in a land of captivity they sat by the riverside all of them lamenting crying about their helpless situations and suddenly the prophet looked and he said the heavens were open tonight if you want to title what i'm calling i'm calling it living portals living portals i'm teaching about spiritual portals Hello, Kim Madonna. 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 I'm hearing a song in the spirit. Holy are you Lord. Just keep playing. Holy are you Lord God Almighty. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Holy are you Lord God Almighty. Holy Just listen, let me sing it, please. Holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty? Holy, 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 are you Lord God? Can we join the choir in heaven? Holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty? Holy, 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 are you Lord God Sing faithful, 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 faithful. Are you Lord God of mine? Faithful.
praise Jehovah. There's an uncommon opening in this place. I need you to understand what God is doing. The Bible says the natural man understandeth not the things of the spirit. They are spiritually discerned. Listen. In the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit. There are portals. And there are doorways. That open men up. To uncommon dimensions of grace and insight in the spirit. Please follow me. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 28. How that at a certain time Jacob walked. And when he got to a certain place. Didn't give, him a, 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 didn't give it a name yet. He called it a certain place. He said he fell asleep. And he laid his head. And while he slept, suddenly he realized that there was a portal that connected the heavens and the earth. Now, when you read the book of Genesis, his father Abraham had made a covenant and erected an altar at that point. And by sacrifice, had opened up a portal and a doorway. And when he came, he said he slept and he saw angels. There were activities linking the heavens and the earth. Activities. Are you following me now? Ezekiel, he was just sitting by the river at Sheba. Little did he know that that was a portal. Suddenly he lifted up his eyes and found out that there was no earthly limitation again. He began to see the visions of heaven. The man called Elijah knew the exact portal that would exit people out of the earth. When it was time for him to go, he knew it was just beyond Jordan. And when Elisha followed him, he went beyond Jordan and said, now ask for your request because I'm about to leave. Suddenly there were chariots of fire. Where did they come from? A doorway that harmonizes the natural and the spiritual. And Jesus functioned in this dimension in the book of acts chapter one the bible says he knew the exact mountain and he stood there and the moment he finished speaking to them he started rising up gravity could not hold because there was a portal portals and open heavens are so important and necessary this is what is responsible for the unusual manifestation of god's presence when you access a portal there is a place called the Merivian Falls and it was said that the Merivians prayed non-stop 24 hours for 100 years till today when you get to that place whether you are spiritual or not you will begin to see angelic activities for those of you who have been in this environment for a long time how many of you had the opportunity to pray at the court where we call the Lontenese court because of the saturation of the prayers of the saints that place became a portal that every time you stepped into that place there seemed to be a continuous activity solomon dedicating the temple said lord in other words let this place be a portal that forever there be a continuous interaction with the heavens and the earth that wherever across israel whoever turns to this temple that their prayers be granted because this is a portal the ability to become that portal is my message tonight. A short exhortation that you can come to a point in the spirit where you become a living portal. Where the portal is not just a geographical location, but you as the temple of the most high built, you can become a living portal where every time you move there is a continual flow. There is an activity. He said as a result of that open heaven. The word of the Lord came expressly. Insight in the spirit. On common understandings in the spirit. Where you become a living carrier. And a dispenser of his glory. And everywhere you go. You carry that atmosphere. And so you become like the ark. 
that was taken to the house of Obededom. Wherever you are, the glory is. In the glory I will stand I will stand And lift my hands In the glory I'll receive Every miracle You have for me there were certain geographical locations in the earth that when men found their way to they suddenly were not in this realm again it it harmonizes the realm of the spirit and the physical realm physical locations here upon the earth and that's the reason why every time god wants to encounter a man god tells him where the portal is he says go wait for me there why will god not just meet with men anywhere he says, above the mercy seat, below the cherubims, there I will meet with you and I will relate with you face to face. Every time he would send people, go to a certain place. Go to a certain place. Go to a certain place. These places seem to carry on common levels of the presence of God. That's the place where he calls Mount Zion. He gives us an example of the activities that happen. He said, ye are come to Mount Zion. And in Mount Zion, there is an activity of innumerable company of angels. That is where the spirits of just men fellowship. And the firstborn himself, Mount Zion, the side of the north, the city of the great king. The Lord told me that we pray that we become living portals. Living portals. Careers that function under open heavens. Let me tell you something. When the heavens of heavens is open over you, I'm not just talking about the realm of the spirit. Are you listening to me? When the heavens is open over you, you will step into uncommon levels of insight. Understanding. He said, the word of the Lord came expressly lack of insight is a proof that the heavens are closed over a man for every time you stay under open heavens there should be a continual flow of light because you are standing close to him that is light and light means access and revelation Where visions no longer just become prophetic activities, but it becomes part of your life. He was seeing what they could not see. We live in a generation where men cannot see. We have men with two eyes and two ears. They cannot hear the sounds when the shofar blows. They cannot see and understand the doorways and the pathways in the spirit. But even in this prayer series, that a man can live under open heaven. He said how that when Jesus came out of the waters, the heavens were opened. When the heavens were opened, we never have any record in the Bible that the heavens closed over him. And he functioned in miracles. The Bible tells us in the book of John that the miracles Jesus performed, the books in the whole world cannot contain it. It was just a sample that was given unto us that we should believe. It was said, Bible history has it of Nathaniel that a certain time a king had a demon living in him. And Nathaniel, who had become a real Nathaniel, the disciple, he came and met the man. He casted out the devil and brought out a dragon out of the man. A living dragon, Bible history. Portals. Men who dislodged the powers of darkness. When that portal is open over you, there is no recession. When that portal is open over you, favor becomes your lifestyle it's not a favor that comes periodically are you listening to me when that portal is opened you will function in power and grace you will perform more miracles unconsciously than you will consciously one great man of god as i was told 
there was a herbalist who was threatening people in a particular environment and then people had been running away and the man of god just went this is what he did he entered the place and he looked at the herbalist he said all the demons in him leave and that was all hallelujah i was told a story that happened at the redeemed camp that there was somebody who was possessed by demons and the pastors came around they were praying and sweating for hours how many left and then he said maybe 15 or 30 and then they keep praying and then a white man was eating his banana true life story one who was a living portal he was carrying the heavens with him and when he saw them he was wondering he said what is going on and they said they've been praying for hours he laughed and he said satan go instantly 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 no manifestation it's our job that we become the living portals that we manifest the characteristic of these geographical areas in our lives if it is true that the word of god says we are the temple of the holy spirit then it must be also true that we can become living portals when you step into a place and stand after a few minutes you see people responding in ways that they suddenly become uncomfortable you sit down near somebody who is having things to do with the devil and you you just step into your house and you see people parking out and leaving he said no no but i want to offer he said, no 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 I'm, I'm not interested leaving portals where your prayer is reduced from deliverance to worship and intimacy because you become a living portal everywhere there is darkness you step in the bible says the bible didn't say any prayer was made the ark was taken to the house of obededom suddenly he began to flourish things began to work out living portals where we become doorways where people come and meet you and say what is god saying you can be able to tell the language of the spirit part-time understanding the ways of god and knowing what to do the children of issachar the bible says that they had an understanding of the times where you don't need to depend on people to hear what god is saying you are at par with the movement of the spirit when men see you you are riding the tides of the spirit you know how to meander your ways you know when god has stopped and has navigated and you turn and men say where are you going you say i'm following because the heavens have opened over me where there is nothing that crosses above your head that you cannot see when you get to that point you become a blessing to humanity because you become a true expression of christ not just in character but in power everywhere you are i have no apology for satan and anywhere i go death must leave because i represent life realize that you not only possess the resurrection and the life he lives in you he functions through you the only person who can behave exactly like jesus christ is the holy spirit and he lives in you the holy spirit is the only person who can replicate jesus his act his power that's why jesus gave him to us as a gift he represents the life of god in us where there is darkness you not only come alone you bring an atmosphere you bring in the open heavens and there is a flow of insight there is a flow of power there is a flow of idea someone just sits where you sat and suddenly finds out that he cannot find the cancer again no prayer no deliverance where someone can come to you and you just hold the person's checkbook by mistake and suddenly he gets a text message from someone sending funds to his account that they cannot account for do you believe what i'm sharing or are we just being spiritual hallelujah portals living portals where everywhere you are you are walking in this consciousness it's not just that you are carrying god 
the heavens are open from where Ejimi read Haggai chapter 1 the reason why the land is barren the reason why it cannot produce is why the heavens are closed the heavens are closed over many tongue talking believers that's why they struggle fruitlessly and aimlessly when the heavens are open over you men will refuse to sleep just to bless you have you ever had that kind of testimony where a man cannot sleep Daniel was about to be casted into the lion's den. They didn't know he was taking heaven into the den. The moment he stepped in, the lions could not do anything. That was exactly what happened in the Garden of Eden. Where the animals could not harm them. He brought that Eden atmosphere. And the lion said, I remember that there was once an atmosphere like this. Where we coexisted with men. No violence. The bondage of corruption was lifted. Suddenly he stepped in. And he had a nice time with the lion. The exact same thing happened to the three Hebrew boys. They stepped into the fire and they brought in the portals of heaven. Do you believe you are not just an ordinary person? This is not just the issue of anointing. Are you listening to me? I have a burden tonight in my heart that the least person among us becomes if you are in a man's house and after 24 hours things do not change things do not things are not transformed you are an embarrassment to the kingdom are you hearing me inside and outside i'm challenging you tonight because the bible says that river flows from the east side he said wherever the river goes to the fishes that are dead come alive where men begin to look for you and say please don't pay for a house i just want you to stay in my estate we are tired of trouble can you come we we cannot see jesus but you are the closest person to him come they say ah, he's starting they say don't worry i will just come someone will want to launch a car and say please come just use my car i, I they find ways of bringing heaven into their lives And when men are struggling, others are running and looking for you. You get to a point where you are noted for releasing blessings. You buy something in someone's shop. And the moment you leave, the person gets sales that day. That he has never gotten in a week. The day he sees you, he says, please just stay. Just for five minutes. Have you seen people like that that you want to be around them? something happens to you when you're around them you cannot explain there is a f if you are in trouble and you see them they come in with faith they come in with hope and confidence they don't shout they tell you i understand they are speaking from a realm under an atmosphere that is open whenever they say i'm praying for you you jump there are others that when they say they are praying for you, you don't even you don't think twice about you know they are just wasting their time but there are others who say well, i'm praying for you and you are so excited because you are confident about their open heavens it's time for you to function in your open heavens where you become a living proof you become a demonstrator of the power of god for where there is death and where there is darkness you step in my hands represent the hands of jesus my eyes represent the eyes of jesus I'm not an ordinary person. I am not just carrying his life. I'm carrying his atmosphere. His atmosphere. Eternal life is not just his life. So where is not just his life. It's his atmosphere. The heavens are perpetually open over me. That's the reason why the disciples. See Jesus functioned under an open heaven. That's why he didn't need to pray for three hours. To activate the prophetic. Or to activate anything. He was living. And they brought a, a woman from Nain he meandered into a major miracle that many of us will fast for one year for and he said it's all right let the boy get up when you function under open heavens you see situations that require your breakthrough will not tell you when they will come sometimes you're about to enter a bathroom suddenly you find out that there is an emergency but there's no cause for alarm heaven is in this place and you say satan 
take your hands take your hands one time bishop oyedeko went for a program and he stayed in a hotel and armed robbers were coming for him and he just wore his pajamas and was about to sleep and then he just had by revelation that they were coming he laughed he opened his door and stood you know he held two of his hands and shouted in the hotel he said any of them that crosses a boundary they carry their dead body and he just entered and locked his door and that's how the people advised themselves and left to be a threat to the kingdom of darkness is not to be a noisemaker do you realize that if we become living portals we can change our territories hallelujah we can shift things we can transform things by the power of the holy spirit let me share with you a testimony i don't know if the man is here he called me some days ago and his wife was about to put to bed and they found out that the position of the baby the baby was assuming a very dangerous position hallelujah and he called me and then we you see when you are conscious of heaven you don't do things by your strength are you listening to me you know you are not alone and i said now in the name of jesus the bible says children are heritage from the lord not disaster from satan and i said child you know the right position you are a baby only physically in the spirit you have been foreknown you have been fashioned in christ you have common sense enough to adjust yourself i told that baby adjust yourself and be in the correct position and the man called me i saw him in chapel was it day, day before yesterday or three days ago and he said surprisingly they went back to do the scan and they found out the child complied with his position i wasn't speaking to him heaven was speaking to the earth when you understand this you will rule and you will reign see this is we are not teaching you these things to feel spiritual many of us the, the issue with many of us is we don't apply the things that we learn we just say wow church was nice today so what how does that change your life how does that change your environment you are in business step into your shop and begin to speak heaven is in this place when they call you and say things are not working say hold on i have a solution don't be humble about it you can do something about it and you step in and say in the name of the lord and suddenly like ezekiel the lord will open your eyes and you will see the angels of the lord responding to your prayer that's why we are praying that we be men and women who acclimatize ourselves to the spirit that we are so alive to the spirit that we are not just taken unawares by the things of life everywhere i go he is there with me his presence is there with me that's why you never meet me on the street to pray for you or to do something i say hold on please can you accept god gives me a direct instruction i may not be confident in myself but I'm always confident that he is in this place. He's in this place. Are you that confident? I'm asking all of you a question right now. Can you be that confident? How many of you tonight, don't lift your hands, can truly say anywhere I go, I know he's going through me. As I speak, heaven is speaking through me. As I lay hands on people, if I hold your hands and I call you blessed, I tell you even if I'm joking, you are blessed. I can't reverse it. Where everything you touch becomes blessed. That's what we are enjoying in this place. I have cried for years and said, Lord, let E and I be a living portal that anywhere men come into, they, the first encounter is that they know that God is in the midst of his people you mustn't be told we mustn't pray in tongues when you sit down you know that there is an atmosphere that is not the same as the atmosphere in your departments and faculty but it's not enough to have his here you learn the principles and you take when you are sitting in front of your lecture you see your lecturer looking at you and while he's talking he comes back and looks at you 
out of the hundreds of students he keeps looking at you his senses are not understanding but his spirit is connecting he sees more than you it's an atmosphere and he says come and meet me in my office he says i've been watching you i encourage you just be a nice student the favor of the lord you're just sitting down and someone squeezes money and comes and puts it on your hand and says do you have clothes let me come and wash it what is he doing that's the exact same way they would have responded to jesus christ and because you have allowed yourself to be an expression of him you are permitted to enjoy the benefits that come with manifesting his life that we walk under open heavens where this anointing thing and the rest of where if a prophet comes and mounts the podium as he's talking to you you are standing from that plane and discerning whether or not he's a noise maker no matter how accurate he's speaking you can look at him and know that this man is functioning by divination and when he attempts to lay his hands on you that's where his deliverance will start you are an ordinary member carrying heaven with you the bible talks about a man called stephen he was serving tables he was not part of the apostles but he allowed the heavens to be so open over him that his appearance was like that of an angel when the heavens are open over you it will affect your physical body it will affect your outlook are you listening to me it will change and reconfigure you ask moses when he stayed under open heavens for 40 days the bible says he stepped out and his countenance changed when jesus christ in his transfiguration manifested the power of open heavens the bible says he was as bright that we function under open heavens in this prayer series is my is my desire that everyone everyone not special people everyone that when you are i will cry and i will weep when i see any one of us just lamenting over challenges as if we cannot do anything about it it's our job to orient you you are not the ones who need help you are the helpers and so god is helping you here so that you will not need to cry and beg the world that when this brother is moving we have put a mindset in him you know you are not alone have this mindset every time you are walking, no matter how casual it is i am always aware that i am not alone i am not alone say so, yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me do you know how many let me tell you something don't be afraid of they that want to kill you or any of these things do you know how many times people have tried to scheme things against me there was a time manasseh was telling a gentleman called him ask him he will tell you someone called him and said do you know just joshua selman he said yes he just said be warned and he switched off the phone joking you want to kill me you will die for nothing i'm telling you for nothing No matter how mad a man is, he knows fire when he sees it. I am too immune. There is more than what you see. There is more than what you see. Elisha said, oh God, let him see the open heavens over us. And suddenly when the servant looked, he saw chariots of fire waiting for the command of sons. Pakapara sitabaya. I refuse to fear refuse to live in weakness there is more that i can do the heavens are opened over me take that heavens to your finances take that heavens to your work take that heavens over your body challenge yourself i'll never have a reason why i will not be able to come and preach one day because sickness kept me never challenge yourself these things are not magic they are not just show on stage there is a realm where the heavens 
can be opened over you. There is such a realm where the heavens can be opened, where everything you touch becomes blessed. Everything you touch multiplies. When you touch death, life, John G. Lake. We are going to be praying and stretching ourselves in the spirit. It takes prayer. Every portal that was created in the Bible, the fathers of faith, opened up an altar and raised incense and like John read when we pray we create altars that raises incense there is a continual activity between the heavens oh there are angels moving over as we pray because they confirms the words of his messengers I'm challenging you many of you as you pray you will begin to see Jesus. You will see angels. The cords will be losing over your eyes. Rise up as we pray. Instrumentalists, pray your best. Stretch it in the spirit. Pack up your chairs. Lie down. Rise up. You can come to the altar if you want to. For the next 30 to 45 minutes, we are going to be stretching in the spirit. No laziness. No tiredness. Find a position and begin to pray. The heavens. La pato sekete laka. Rapa sosataya. Rapa rikete lekosia. You can leave your seats and walk around. Come, come to the altar and walk around. Rapa zata baria. Meko preske basia. Inside and outside, walk around. We must become living portals. Living portals functioning on the open heaven hallelujah please can you help some of the ministers with mics help some of the ministers with mics i'd like us to pray tonight we are here for serious business walk around walk around back up your chest walk around pray like a priest pray like a priest Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. While we were praying, I saw many demonic forces in the heaven. And it was like beams of light with fire. That's what was leaving us. Shooting into the heavens. That's what I saw. We are going to pray right now. Hear me. We are going to decree change in the heavens. Are you hearing me? Change. I don't care what area of change. Are you listening to me? Now is not the time to get tired and to sleep. If you are tired, walk around. We are going to command change from the heavens. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Elamba babula kasana. Alleluia. Elamba balaga da bakosha. Alleluia. Listen to me. Listen to me. Right now, many of you, when we are taking another series, we take the series part by part. I'm going to teach you on supplications, petitions, prayers, different kinds of prayers. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to bring. See, let me tell you, you have not brought your issue face to face with the true spirit of prayer. That's why it has not changed. Nothing can stand the power. I'm not talking of religious prayer. The fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous it generates tremendous power to change. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody in this place has an issue or an area. There are areas we are trusting God to conquer. And I know we declare by faith that it is done. But right now, you are going to take one issue, everybody. One issue. And you are going to place it in front of you and generate energy, the power of praying in tongues. Are you listening to me? Like a priest. And tell it, you will fall now. Now, not later. It may be finances. It may be your health. I'm not talking of your family. Yourself. I need you to have a testimony that comes from the wind. Are you ready now? There are issues. For some of us, delay. For some of us, there's nothing that you touch that will prosper. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When you get dissatisfied with where you are, I was diagnosed, I've told you, I was diagnosed to have a fungal infection and they said hell will never grow on my head again. At a point, I was diagnosed with an eye condition. And I was to stay like that and use glasses for the rest of my life. There was a time, the side of my chest used to pain me. I don't know what for. When I wake up in the morning, intense pain. When you get angry. Are you listening to me? And it's from the spirit. This is not just emotional. Are you listening to me? That's what the Bible calls the spirit of faith. When it rises, you put the issue before you and pray it like a priest. If the heavens have been closed over your finances, you have been faithfully tithing, you have been faith. Let me tell you something. Koinonia is the place where we flog it out with destiny. Are you listening to me? In these few minutes, I like you to pray. Whether it's delay, set, whatever it is, all this pray for me, pray for me. Tonight we have an open heavens. I like you to generate energy in the spirit. Even if your voice sees it, it will come back to God. Lift up your voice. Pray. 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 Principality, 
Hallelujah. 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 I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Are you listening to me? That's what I see in the spirit. Fire is burning in this place. For you will know that he's not a man and that when he speaks, he is faithful to bring it to pass. That's what the Lord says, I should say. For you will know that he is not a man. Hallelujah. Listen. Pick up your Bibles. Pick up your Bibles. Ezekiel 37. We are about to prophesy. Great fire burning in this place. The Bible says he maketh his angels spirits and his ministers flames of fire. For you will be strong. You will be built. You will be established. And then you will reign in power. Unlimited. This is the heritage of the sons in Christ. Ezekiel 37. God will give you impossible miracles. When you pray and you generate power in the spirit, your words become powerful. As you speak, there is a performance because you are speaking by the spirit of prophecy. You're not just making empty noise. He says he confirms the words of his servant. Your words become like fire because they are coming from the ovens of the spirit. Ezekiel 37.
the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry the first challenge I have is that the bones died in the valley they never were bones on the mountain are you listening to me he said the bones were found where in the valley that's why he said do I walk through that valley where there are bones it's a location in the realm of the spirit it's not a physical valley it's where Satan brings discouragement and where the great become weak until they become bones he calls it a valley who told the psalmist that he said do I walk why didn't he say do I walk through the path he called it a valley it's a spiritual location don't be misled it's not your geographical valley for the things in the spirit are not like the natural I know many of you have been imagining a valley it's a spiritual location the psalmist said do I walk in that same valley when the things that made those men become bones come I will not be afraid for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me the valley he said in that valley is a place where there is only desolation when you find yourself in that valley there is no hope that's where satan keeps a lot of people including tongue-talking believers and the bible said it was very dry i show you a mystery tonight follow me could be sickness could be discouragement depression failure and he said unto me that's what god is asking you tonight son of man can this boy live again can your dreams live again can your hopes live again the arm that has fallen oh Samson can your hair grow again he will not only restore the hair he can give you new eyes no matter how much you have been battered if you can have two ears and a leg you can get everything back the lord is asking you a question you're going to answer it in the next prayer session listen there is no hopeless situation not in christ the trouble is we walk in too much carnality we read too much scientific things the greatest enemy of flowing in the spirit is logic and common sense son of man can these bones can this business live again can this idea live again can your broken home live again son of man you call yourself a christian where is the evidence the nations are waiting tonight the lord is saying will you partner with me son of man can it rise again job can you rise again to become the greatest man in the east and the prophet said only thou knowest he said lord i cannot deny that this situation is too impossible not when the heavens are open because god's raw material for creation is called nothing nothing he created everything and the word of god does not just restore it recreates let hope rise darkness dwell in your holy life can you sing it one more time before we pray let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Hallelujah.
Verse 4 is our next prayer point. And he said unto me, Joshua Selman, prophesy. Manasseh, prophesy. Your situation is at the mercy of your prophecy. Your prophets, listen, the prophetic does not just reveal the future, it creates one. Son of man, for how long will you watch your life go down? Prophesy. Son of man, for how long will you share your problems with everyone? Prophesy. For how long will your business fall? For how long will you beg? Prophesy. Are you ready to prophesy? Listen. Listen. Now you are not just going to pray in tongues. You are going to make decrees. Hear me? We are not talking to God now. Hello? Those outside, can you hear me? Say hallelujah, those outside. Listen. You are not going to talk to God about anything now. Put on your kingly robe. And we are going to manifest a dimension of dominion called exousia. Speaking by the authority of the king begin to prophesy force your situation to change i am blessed i am great i call forth favor come out pray favor follows me everywhere i go i'm the head and not the tail no death can be found in my body speak the word of God speak the word of God Satan take your hands off my finances command satan to take his hands from your finances take your hands from my health take your hands from my mind prophesy prophesy son of man prophesy son of man prophesy prophesy don't keep quiet i prophesy greatness i prophesy I use the weapon of the prophetic, the weapon of the prophetic, the weapon of the prophetic. Grace in business, grace in ministry, impact by the power of the Holy Ghost. Long life, I prophesy. I prophesy favor. I prophesy glory. I prophesy joy. I prophesy greater levels. Son of man, use the weapon of the prophetic. Use the weapon of the prophetic. Use the weapon of the prophetic. Prophesy, make copariketai. Greatness, glory, lifting. I am the head, not the tail. Above, not beneath. The lines have fallen for me. In pleasant places, I have a good heritage. No death, no death. I refuse to die. I refuse to be sick. I refuse sickness. I refuse sickness. I refuse failure. I refuse failure. Sheba ba 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 ba. La cha ba 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 bos. Le koposto prekete.
prophesy every mountain before the rubber you become play before the rubber Satan the Lord rebuke you Satan the Lord rebuke you Satan the Lord rebuke you over oh God's people Satan carry the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you The Lord rebuke you. For you will know that you met the Lord tonight. You will see how helpless Satan can be on the wings of faith and power. Listen. Listen. The prophetic is not just a ministry. It's an instrument of creation in the spirit. The prophetic is not just a ministry. It's an instrument of creation. The capacity to say, let there be. Like God, calling the things that be not. As though they were. Calling them. From where? From the heavens. From the realm of the spirit. Calling the things that be not. If they already are, there's no need to call them. Calling the health that be not. Calling the prosperity that be not. Calling the increase that be not. Calling the favor that be not. Under open heavens. Hallelujah. Where you will never know dryness in your life. Where you will never know the wilderness. That everywhere you go, his presence is. No decay. No setback. This is why we are challenging you tonight. I have a desire in my heart. That the presence of God will reconfigure you. That people will know. You will have a testimony. Hallelujah. I prophesy over your life. That from today. In a strange and unusual dimension. You will begin to function under open heavens. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That everywhere you are. You will be noted for releasing the supernatural releasing the miraculous releasing signs and wonders in the name of Jesus everywhere there is darkness that when you step in you will bring light you will bring glory that everywhere there is weakness at the sight of you you bring strength you are not the weak you are not the beggarly. No. Refuse it. Deliver yourself from that mindset. You are the great. You are the strong. You are the able. You are the giants. You are the champions. You are royalty. Anointed by the power of the spirit. I declare that every challenge that has been an issue for you as you begin to function under these open heavens I decree visions of the night visions of the day strategies by the spirit 
you begin to receive heavenly visitations visitations of angels visitations of jesus the living creatures the saints of old i prophesy into your spirit man in the name of jesus i cause an alignment in your spirit let there be an alignment in your spirit man that you begin to see the things that men cannot see you begin to hear the things that men cannot hear in the night while you sleep you will see i prophesy if i be called of god let your spirit be open in the name of jesus the eyes that will see beyond your age beyond your level of exposure uncommon wisdom uncommon insight uncommon power grace grace miracles will flow freely and then your life will become a testimony to unbelievers that your god is not there for when they see your light they will know that he reigns over you hallelujah say after me i am great i am the mighty yes that's who you are that's your true identity in christ walk in that consciousness you mustn't be ministry walk in that consciousness there is an open heavens walk in that consciousness when you enter your room there is an open heavens stop saying i'm confused that's not your language that's not your language stop it don't say it doesn't matter stop it don't say i'm confused i don't know what to do especially ladies you know what to do there is an anointing within you that teaches you all things for when you are confused begin to pray in the spirit stir up that waters many of you will enjoy the ministry of angels i tell you they will come to you you will know them by name they will become your friends they will partner with you they will make you giants for you will do things beyond your capacity you will bring words you will bring ideas insights in the spirit they will show you doorways they will show you doorways to greatness in the spirit for a day not ministering spirits sent to minister to they that be the heirs of salvation it's a new season for you it's a new season for you hallelujah you may not realize how transformed you are until you step out you will literally feel like a giant see those who smoke and drink this is the feeling they try to get this is what they are looking for now you feel high but you are not under the this is exactly how they feel when they take these things they don't see impossibilities again it's satan's way of attempting to bring them to this realm for now your doubts melt away like Samson, it melts like flax before your hands and you are empowered and energized to go back you are a king your royalty go and take your checkbooks and put them and pray on them and say lord ideas and grace i know my family members cannot help me now I need to begin to help them go and pray lay your hands on your bed and say there is an open portal over this bed your unbeliever friends lie down only to wake up with a radical transformation for they will see the things that you see upon your bed they will wear your clothes and carry an anointing they cannot explain they will come to steal things in your room and you come and find them on the floor there under the anointing they came under open heavens a man steals your property and brings it back crying after days and say it wasn't useful to me open heavens 
where people come and meet you and apologize and say I'm the person who has been speaking wrong against you you cannot tell what has been happening to me open heavens when you lift up your voice to make a request then you see a lot of people ready to meet your needs to explain somebody just wakes up and takes it a responsibility to be sending 30 30 thousand every month to your account no strings attached open heavens i'm not talking of your uncle he says strangers shall feed your flock not your relatives you have been disobeying scripture that for those of you who will not listen to what i'm saying this is the time of frustration for you like never before that after all i'm saying you still put your eyes in men i've said this thing again and again my uncle promised me my auntie said this and that whatever god cannot give you my brothers anybody that tried to give you is deceiving you for the greatest of any man is still a man are you listening to me this is how to be victorious go and teach your roommates organize little bible study sessions in your room you mustn't call it the name of your ministry organize it they are sleeping tell them wake up as your life improved the way you are lying down like this wake up and sit down they will laugh at you but no man denies results the end of every argument is results when they begin to see this is why listen christianity that does not have results is frustrating you may just keep quiet but we are motivated by the manifestations of the word of god in our life and when they see your life truly they will know that your god reigns and then they will listen to your message when you are speaking they will not laugh at you again now they are permitted to laugh they laughed at sarah until isaac came hallelujah thank you jesus go back to your roommates hear me i'm challenging everyone begin to do something with the anointing upon your life otherwise it will never grow many of us think ministry when your roommate tells you i had a dream and somebody was chasing me start smiling that's an opportunity to practice what we are doing if it doesn't work come back next friday and say josh i tried it and it didn't work i was okay let's let's see how we can fix it up do something many of you are not seeing your progress because you are not doing anything nigerians are known for not taking action we can take we can have informations but we don't do anything look for someone who is sick person is throwing up and vomiting say thank you jesus now it's an opportunity to experiment this if the person is not healed they will not beat you so long as you don't collect money the problem is when you collect money and leave promises they will beat the living daylight out of you when they are not healed tell them can i pray with you you see someone you have been trying to preach to go under open heavens you will be surprised what will i say he may just start with a story the next thing you see the person crying and weeping on the floor and you tell the person jesus is calling and they are hearing more than your voice they are hearing voices because you are speaking under open heavens lord we thank you for tonight we thank you for your grace it's our desire to live under open heavens lord let this not just be a message we begin to live this supernatural lives commanding unending victories in our lives challenging the works of darkness dethroning principalities over our communities challenging all the mountains and the spheres of influence that you have given us we are well able lord we give you all the glory let every faint heart arise tonight you are strong in christ in the name of jesus christ very quickly while standing please if you are coming here for the first time will soon be done i'd like you to please quickly um jump up and come out if this is your first time inside and outside we want to pray for you and bless you appreciate them as they come if this is your first time of worshiping with us please and please let's do it quickly appreciate them they are coming just this way inside and outside please find your way to the front very quickly appreciate them please let's save time you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill 
that cannot be hidden appreciate them as they come they are still coming thank you very much for coming we celebrate you we appreciate you you will never be the same you will never be the same you will command power in the heavens thank you lord jesus hallelujah thank you very much for making our time to worship with us this is koinonia hallelujah thank you for coming how many of you were blessed tonight you will never be the same hallelujah it's our desire that you grow in intimacy with the holy spirit that you understand his ways you understand his kingdom hallelujah we're challenging you to love him more to serve him more and to walk in the authority of the king we're going to pray for you right now as we stretch our hands to pray for you i'd like you to receive we're going to pray the blessings of god into your life hallelujah let's pray for them just stretch your hands saints of god we declare that you are blessed we declare that you are blessed in the name of jesus great grace for you glory for you in the name of jesus you are empowered by the hand of god his face shines upon you in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you dear lord jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kato, kete branda kata bako tosko tobre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.